to a first impressions video with me. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. I have recorded like six of these videos in a row, so I'm wearing the same thing. Let me just have some water. This platinum pen was sent for me on loan by Applebaum Pennin. You can get 10% off at Applebaum Pennin if you use my discount code, which is on my blog and other places. I don't receive a uh, commission. It's just a nice deal for you. This is not a sponsored video. When I'm done with all of this pen stuff, this will go back to Applebaum. So that's all. Now, this pen is the Platinum Century with the rhodium trim. So this is the black diamond version. And it is made extra interesting because it has a music nib. If you know anything about me, you know I like music nibs. Now, the thing with Platinum is because it's a Japanese pen, they have a really interesting pricing strategy, which means they are fairly expensive everywhere outside of Japan. Here's the box, very simple, um, just like a clamshell. You've got your war warranty card, your user manual. It comes with a converter, which is actually fairly decent because the converters are low, are like 10 bucks. And it comes with a cartridge. Now, you should know if you purchase a Platinum in Japan, like from North America, you are probably not gonna have any warranty coverage. So that is one of the reasons that a lot of people like to, a lot of people like to buy them uh, locally. So the pen is a whopping 161 euros and the music nib is an added 16 euro amount. So they're not inexpensive, especially in Europe. That really sucks, and I don't know why companies do this. Like, I don't understand why Platinum does this. I don't know why Pilot does this. I don't understand the economic aspect of that, but what I will tell you is this is a really nice pen. I think the black and rhodium trim version, the black diamond, is way nicer than the gold one because it's just like a cooler look, which I like a lot. Really comfortable pen. The music nib is delightful. It's a little on the small side if you have large hands, but it does post. It's a really nice pen. So, and because it's a cartridge converter, it's really easy to maintain. It's it's very rugged, like it's, it's a, a pen you can use all the time. And it has the platinum slip and seal mechanism, so it's in the cap, helps prevent the nib from drying out, so you shouldn't get hard starts and all that and uh, reduced nib creep if you're using a really like green, orange, saturated ink. Uh, so I'm really pleased with it. I've used Platinums before, I've had Platinums before, but I've never had the Black Diamond. So, I mean, I'm not keeping it, it's just on loan, but it's really nice to try it out. It is resin, so it is a light pen, but I think it's really nice. Like, I think it's a great daily user. So let us do a writing sample with this pen, see how it writes, see how it performs. And uh, that's everything. So thank you to Yos for loaning me this pen. Hopefully this will be useful to you and we will see you in just a minute for the writing bit. Hello, welcome to the writing sample portion of the Platinum 3776 Century Silver Trim or Black Diamond Fountain Pen. Very elegant pen, very simple, very classy. I think it's really nice. Um, they're a little expensive outside Japan, but I mean, you do get a gold nib. You do get a pen that's probably gonna last you forever. It's, they're pretty tough. Um, great daily writer, very comfortable. If you have large hands, you may find it a little on the small side because they're pretty light, but um, the cap can be posted, giving you a nice size. And this has a 14 karat gold music nib, it is a firm nib, it is a music stub nib, but you will get a nice writing experience in my humble opinion. Let me just try and right, angle this so you can actually see what I'm writing. Sorry about that, I looked up into the camera and then that's what happens. So it's not super stubby, 
Like you're not gonna get really drastic line variation, but I think it's quite nice. The ink, I'll tell you in a second. So it's like medium wet, not super wet. I think you could use this at work. The ink is the new Kyo no Oto. Sorry, my hand's blocking. Benga Rairo. Um, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm just doing my best to figure that out. Of all the platinum nibs, this is one of my favorites. I think it's really nice. It sounds scratchy. It is not at all. The edges are smoothed out enough that it's basically a stub. Excellent daily writer. Great for letters, like showing off your inks. It's just a really nice pen. Again, I know they're in, they're not um, like super cheap outside of Japan, but they're pretty solid pens. They're quite reliable, and um, yeah, I, I like them. So thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. What do you think of it? I know there's a whole bunch of colors. There's a whole bunch of nibs. I mean, in that regard, they're really nice because there's so many options. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and check out some older videos maybe, see if there's something in there that you enjoy. You could find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And don't forget, you can use the discount code FRIEND on the Applebaum website for 10% off your purchase, excluding Mont Blanc. And again, no commission, and this is not a PayPal video thing, whatever. I just wanted to share it with you because I think everybody really likes these pens. So, thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.